guys welcome back today I want to talk about an interview question that I received and today we're going to be talking about statements versus prepared statements so here's the question what is the difference between statements and prepared statements well the main difference is one prevents SQL injection and the other does not prevent SQL injection now here are some of the key differences between the two so let's first start off with statements Statements are static, which means that usually when you're writing a statement, you're not going to be passing in parameters, and it's just used to do one specific thing. Another thing is that there is slow execution when you're working with statements. That means that it's not pre-compiled, and it's going to take more time in order to execute specific queries. Another thing is that it does not prevent SQL injection. Now, that brings us to prepared statements which functions differently than statements. Prepare statements are more dynamic. They have faster execution times since they are already pre-compiled. And another thing is that it helps prevent SQL injection attacks. Now, I actually want to show you how each one of these work in Eclipse. And I'm going to show you that right now. So what I have here is a database, and inside a database, um, this is the database that we're going to be using, my accounts, and then inside this database we have the accounts table, and this is all the information within the accounts table. We have a user ID, a username, as well as a password, and this is the table that we're going to be using. So I want to make my way back to Eclipse, and let me zoom this in for you guys. Alright, so in Eclipse, first thing I have is my JDBC URL, which I'm going to be using to connect to the database. Um, I also have some objects here, object references here, connection, um, statement, as well as the result set. Now, if this looks a little bit confusing to you, I actually have created a video on how to connect to the database. So, um, if you're not understanding what's going on here, just go look back at that video before um, following through with this one. But um, what I'm going to be doing is just showing you the main difference between the statement as well as the prepared statement. So as I said before, the statement does not prevent SQL injection, whereas the prepared statement does help prevent SQL injection. I'm going to show you an example of this now. So um, before we even start here, we're actually going to go down right here. And we have our connection, and we set that equal to driver manager .get connection, which is going to allow us to maintain the connection to the database. All right, and then the next thing I want to talk about is this SQL string right here, which consists of the query that we're going to be executing on the accounts table. So we're going to go select all from accounts where username equals the passed in username. Now, this is the pass in username that I have up here, and what I'm doing here is incorporating SQL injection into my application. So, what I'm doing here is I'm saying select all from accounts where username equals Sarah, Sarah, or an empty string equals an empty string. So, if the if the if Sarah is entered in, if Sarah is entered in, and it is not found within the database then it's going to check for this so if empty string equals empty string which it does equals true then the username will be returned and that goes the same for the password that you can see here and the password equals passed in password which is doing the same thing checking for this empty string then there's going to be some values returned. So right here, as I said before, I'm using a statement. And what we're doing, we're just creating a statement. And then on the next line, we're using the result set to hold um, the statement.execute query. So as soon as this query is executed, then we're going to get results stored into this result set. And then from here, what I'm doing, I'm saying if the result set is not equal to null, so if there are some records found, then I want to print out each one of those records. So if, those, if there are records found based on the information that is passed into this SQL query, which is the passed in username and the passed in password, then I want them to be printed out and I also want to print out user found. All right. 
and otherwise and print out user is not found. All right, so let's go ahead and run this application. Let's zoom out for a minute. We're going to run this application now, and as you can see already, in this console, it's going to print out all of the records in the database, the user ID, the username, as well as the password. So as you can see, by using statement, it does not prevent SQL injection. So if you want to prevent SQL injection, that's why we would have to go about using a prepared statement. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so we're using the statement up here, but now we just want to switch this to prepared statement. Okay. Now, with this prepared statement, um, we actually want to go down here, and since we're no longer using the statement, we're going to use con dot per dot prepare statement. Then from here, we're just simply entering in our SQL that you see right here, but um, before we actually start executing that, we actually want to change this query a little bit because when you're working with prepared statements, you have to pass in actual parameters instead of passing in information like this. So, you just put a question mark here. And for this password, we'll do the same thing. You just put a question mark here. So these question marks represent parameters that will be passed in to this SQL. So in order to do that, we would have to go st.setString and then go one and then pass in username. All right, so what's happening here is that this one is gonna represent the first parameter that is in this SQL query right here. And we're actually passing in the value, which is going to be this pass in username. And now we want to do the same thing for password. All right. All right. So we're doing that. And then at the very end, we don't need this st.execute query because we're using the prepared statement now. Because this st is already holds a statement in it so we don't need to execute it since it already holds it so we just go rs equals st that execute query all right so that's how you would go about writing a prepared statement so if i zoom this out and then now i run save this and then i run the application it's just saying user found but it's not displaying any of this information because the prepared statement is going to hide is going to hide that information pretty much so um, it does prevent SQL injection so as you've seen before when I used um, yeah when I use a statement it did not prevent that SQL injection which is right here but due to the fact that I've just used prepared statements prepared statements actually do prevent SQL injection. That's why we're not able to see it here in the console. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about statements and prepared statements and how they differ, you know, and just some of the advantages between the two. Well, some of the advantages of prepared statements, actually, since they prevent SQL injection. But um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.